The Corps of Royal Electrical and Mechanical Engineers is a corps of the British Army that maintains the equipment that the Army uses. History Prior to REME's formation, maintenance was the responsibility of several different corps Royal Army Ordnance Corps — weapons and armoured vehicles Royal Engineers — engineering plant and machinery, and re-motor transport Royal Corps of Signals — communications equipment Royal Army Service Corps — Other motor transport Royal Artillery — Heavy weapons artificers During World War II, the increase in quantity and complexity of equipment exposed the flaws in this system. Pursuant to the recommendation of a committee on skilled men in the services chaired by William Beveridge, the Corps of Royal Electrical and Mechanical Engineers was formed on 1 October 1942. <laughs> Phase 1 Such a major reorganization was too complex to be carried out quickly and completely in the middle of a world war. Therefore, the changeover was undertaken in two phases. In phase one, which was implemented immediately, REAM was formed on the existing framework of the RAOC engineering branch, strengthened by the transfer of certain technical units and tradesmen from the RE and RASC. At the same time, a number of individual tradesmen were transferred into REAM from other corps. The new corps was made responsible for repairing the technical equipment of all arms with certain major exceptions. REAM did not yet undertake those repairs that were carried out by unit tradesmen who were driver, mechanics or fitters in regiments and belonged to the unit rather than being attached to it. Repairs of RASC-operated vehicles, which remained the responsibility of the RASC, each RASC transport company had its own workshop. Repairs of RE-specialist equipment, which remained the responsibility of the RE. Phase 2 In 1949, it was decided that REAM Phase 2 should be implemented. This decision was published in Army Council Instruction 110 of 1949, and the necessary reorganization was carried out in the various arms and services in three stages between July 1951 and January 1952. The main changes were the transfer to REAM of most of the unit repair responsibilities of other arms infantry, Royal Artillery, Royal Armoured Corps etc. The provision of light aid detachments for certain units that had not possessed them under the old organisation. The provision of new REAM workshops to carry out field repairs in RASC transport companies. Maintenance of vessels of the RASC fleet whilst in port was given to the Fleet Repair Branch, a civilian organization which came under the REAM umbrella. This organization was also responsible for arranging and overseeing ship refits. Topic. Cap badges 
After some interim designs, the badge of the Corps was formalized in June 1943 for use as the cap badge, collar badge, and on the buttons. It consisted of an oval royally crowned laurel wreath, on the wreath were four small shields at the compass points, each shield bearing one of the letters of Ream. Within the wreath was a pair of calipers. Examples of these early badges can be found at the Ream Museum. In 1947, the horse and lightning was adopted as the cap badge. Topic: Major Ivan Hurst Ream and Volkswagen. At the end of the war, the Allies occupied the major German industrial centers to decide their fate. The Volkswagen factory at Wolfsburg became part of the British zone in June 1945 and No. 30 Workshop Control Unit, Ream, assumed control in July. They operated under the overall direction of Colonel Michael McAvoy at Rhine Army Headquarters, Bad Oeynhausen. Uniquely, he had experience of the KDF wagon in his pre-war career as a motor racing engineer. Whilst attending the Berlin Motor Show in 1939, he was able to test drive one. After visiting the Volkswagen factory, McAvoy had the idea of trying to get Volkswagen back into production to provide light transport for the occupying forces. The British Army, Red Cross and essential German services were chronically short of light vehicles. If the factory could provide them, there would be no cost to the British taxpayer and the factory could be saved. To do this, a good manager with technical experience would be needed. Marge. Ivan Hurst was told simply to take charge of the Volkswagen plant before arriving in August 1945. He had drains fixed and bomb craters filled in. Land in front of the factory was given over to food production. At first, the wartime Kubelwagen was viewed as a suitable vehicle. Once it became clear it could not be put back into production, the Volkswagen Saloon or Kafer Beetle was suggested. Hearst had an example delivered to Rhine Army headquarters, where it was demonstrated by Colonel McAvoy. The positive reaction led to the military government placing an order for 20,000 Volkswagens in September 1945. Topic Museum The Ream Museum is based at Mod Linum. Topic Training The Defense School of Electronic and Mechanical Engineering at Mod Linum meets most of the training needs of the Corps. Topic Units With minor exceptions only, the Corps is now responsible for the examination, modification, repair and recovery of all mechanical, electronic, electrical and optical equipment of the Army beyond the capacity of unit non-technical personnel. Ream has its regimental headquarters collocated with 8 training battalion Ream based in Mod Linum, in Wiltshire. All trade training and artificer training of electro, mechanical trades of Ream and various related training to other units within the British Army and the Navy and Air Force is conducted by 8 training battalion Ream. 
In line with the Army 2020 review, there are seven regular, two training and six Army Reserve battalions within Ream. Regular Army battalions One Close Support Battalion Ream 4 CS Company 12 CS Company 2 Close Support Battalion Ream 7 CS Company 11 CS Company 3 Close Support Battalion Ream 5 Armoured Company 20 Armoured Company 18 Field Company 4 Close Support Battalion Ream 9 Armoured Company 10 Armoured Company 17 Field Company 5 Force Support Battalion Ream 1 Field Company 2 Field Company 15 Field Company 6 Close Support Battalion Ream 3 Armoured Company 14 Armoured Company 13 Field Company 7 Aviation Support Battalion Ream, based in Watersham 71 Aviation Company 72 Aviation Company 73 Aviation Company, Wildcat Support, based at RNAS Yeovilton 132 Aviation Supply Squadron RLC Training Battalion 8 Training Battalion Ream, based at Mod Lynham, provides trade training to regular soldiers as well as Army Reserve soldiers. Army Reserve Battalions 101 Battalion Ream, HQ based in Wrexham, with sub-units in Prostatin, Walsall, Telford, Merseyside and Manchester, paired with 6 Armoured Close, Support Battalion. HQ Company 119 Recovery Company 126 Workshop Company 127 Workshop Company 153 Workshop Company 102 Battalion Ream, HQ based in Newton Aycliffe with sub-units in Newcastle, Scunthorpe, Hull and Rotherham, Sheffield, paired with one close support battalion. To merge with 106 Ream.124 Recovery Company 146 Workshop Company 147 Workshop Company 186 Tyne Electrical Engineers Workshop Company 103 Battalion Ream, HQ based in Crawley with sub-units in Croydon, Ashford, Bexley Heath, Worley, Barnet and Portsmouth, paired with four Armoured Close, Support Battalion. HQ Company 118 Recovery Company 128 Workshop Company 133 Workshop Company 150 Recovery Company 104 Battalion Ream, HQ based in Northampton with sub-units in Swindon, Derby, Nottingham and Coventry, Redditch, paired with 5 Force Support Battalion, a written statement in December 2016 stated that it will be rationalised, with all manpower in those units being redeployed to other areas of the British Army. 
105 Battalion Ream, HQ based in Bristol with sub-units in Bridgend, Cambran, Taunton, Yeovil and Gloucester, paired with three armoured close, support battalion, a written statement in December 2016 stated that it will be rationalised, with all manpower in those units being redeployed to other areas of the British Army. 106 Battalion Ream, HQ based in East Kilbride with sub-units in Edinburgh, Grangemouth, Glasgow and Belfast, paired with two close support battalion, a written statement in December 2016 stated that it will be rationalised, with all manpower in those units being redeployed to other areas of the British Army, to merge with 102 Ream. Topic. List of Directors of Electrical and Mechanical Engineering, Master General Ream The head of Ream was officially known as Director of Electrical and Mechanical Engineering Army or DEME a Major General Eric Rowcroft 1942-1946 Major General William Bill S. Tope, 1947 to 1949. Major General Stanley William Jocelyn, 1950 to 1953. Major General W. A. Lord, 1954 to 1957. Major General Sir Leslie Norman Tyler, 1957 to 1960. Major General Dennis Redman, 1960 to 1963. Major General Sir Leonard Henry Atkinson, 1963 to 1966. Major General A. McGill, 1966 to 1968. Major General Peter Howard Gerling, 1969 to 1972. Major General A. M. Mackay, 1972 to 1975. Major General Hugh MacDonald Smith, 1975 to 1978. Major General J. V. Homan, 1978 to 1979. Major General T. B. Palmer, 1983 to 1985. Major General J. Boyne, 1985 to 1988. Major General D. Shaw, 1988 to 1991. Major General M. S. Heath, nineteen ninety one to nineteen ninety three Major General P. J. G. Corp, nineteen ninety three to nineteen ninety seven Major General Peter V. R. Besgrove, nineteen ninety seven to nineteen ninety nine Brigadier Roderick J. Croucher, nineteen ninety nine to two thousand and two Brigadier Stephen Tetlow, two thousand and two to two thousand and five Brigadier NTS Williams, two thousand and five to two thousand and seven Brigadier BW McCall, two thousand and seven to twenty ten Brigadier M. J. Boswell, twenty ten to twenty twelve. In twenty twelve, a new post of Master General Ream was created with Lieutenant General Andrew Figures as the first incumbent. Lieutenant General Andrew Figures, twenty twelve to present. Topic See also Units of the Royal Electrical and Mechanical Engineers